hello everyone and welcome back to the family affair welcome back to our channel guys yes we're gonna be talking about another story tonight that i'm getting from celebrity insider and the journalist who brought out this story was nick marcus yes he bought out an article titled called cynthia bailey shares how she reacts if nene leaks ex exited real housewives of atlanta after making peace and i'm like why is anybody even asking Cynthia what she would feel about Nene leaving the show? Okay. We don't care. I don't care. I know my family don't care. If Nene leaves, she leaves. Okay. Because we've been took the call from her as an OG. Because she just ain't been acting like an OG. And then on last uh, week's episode, how she walked out on Cynthia because Cynthia wouldn't bow down to her. Okay. Now, I, like I said, I was riding for Cynthia. I was like, okay, get her straight. But she said, y'all both going tit for tat. Y'all really wasn't making no sense. And it's just like y'all did not have an educated dialogue with what is going on with you all's friendship. And whether or not you wanted to continue to have one on camera as well as off of camera. Okay? Shoot the shits if you're on camera. But if you really want to have something off camera, then make up. Okay, just make up and call it a day. Let Nene say whatever she got to say, Cynthia. And you say whatever you need to say when Nene is going left or she's going south. She's just embarrassing you. Get into her ass right then and there when she's there. Don't wait. Don't tote it around Candy and Kenya for them to uh, pump you up. And don't even take it back to your fiance, Mike. Handle her right then and there. And then. And of course, she would start uh, treating you differently, I am pretty sure. She would try to have those fake water works come out of her eyes. And everybody's supposed to like, oh, poor nanny, poor nanny. No, them days are gone. Okay? Not that we gave her too many times to play them waterworks games or their lack of waterworks coming out of her eyes we just ain't here for the shit no more and Nene is an OG she should be playing how she say chess versus checkers she need to be playing chess all day every day okay until we make up another educated game for the people that have brains beyond the wazooka okay because chess is a very skilled and analytical type of game so nini ain't possessing none of that at the time so she definitely sure shouldn't be saying she playing chess on anybody okay now nah, you trying to play on people's sympathy and to have empathy if they haven't experienced anything that you're going through that's what you're doing nini no you ain't fooling nobody over here we tied your storyline is tied through and refurbished okay you getting recycled stuff recycled stuff recycled stuff you always want to be mad at kenya you always want to be mad at cynthia for liking kenya you want to be mad at cynthia for not showing loyalty to you for you bringing her on the show it's just like damn when do anybody ever stop or being indebted to you nene damn okay that's why i said you need another storyline honey you need to play um like you like everybody and go to everybody events and be that nene if you must but this whole thing with you trying to continuously throw uh cynthia under the bus and talk about how much cynthia did this that and the third and how she is just oh you even got grid whipped over there believing your lies and um how you ca how you call it um uh, fine tuning her battery and her backpack to uh boast her up to continue to you know blame Cynthia for everything no nah, see Greg I need you to fall all the way back embrace your new life that you were given from your cancer scare and go play golf do something go look up Peter or whatnot oh do, do something with your old friends that you grew up with that's what I need you to do I don't need you to be sitting up on any ass and all this kind of things okay because we, we we pretty much think that you're the only friend she really had because we don't see her with nobody and them women that she bought from uh, ladies of success, hell no, nah, I don't want to join that club, even if I had a cool million and a half. No, Nene, I would not come over there and be subjected to filming or not filming or hanging around you and them tired ass ladies, okay? It's like you just sit there and got them from 
a strip mall. Like, okay, I need that look. I need that look. Come on with me. Come on with me. You want to make a couple extra dollars just to film for a little bit on a popular rated TV show program? Okay, come on on with me. That's what you look like you did with the women. Because anybody that got money, like I said, it's going to elude from them. They, you're going to see it in their presence. And even if they just wore a pair of jeans and a shirt or whatever, they just going to look rich. You know what I'm saying? Because their demeanor going to be on point. You know, even if they didn't have on makeup, their skin was going to be glowing. But it's like you got these people out the mall somewhere. You know, just random people. You promised to get some money too. And then you're going to call them, okay, these are the secrets of my success. These are my ladies, okay? And half of them look like they need to go play a bingo somewhere. I don't know what was you doing, Nene. You really, I pulled your card. I'm glad I pulled your card. Because this shit you gave us with the ladies of success. It's like you got them from a nursing home somewhere. I'm like, girl, I was expecting like people like um your friend named Diane or Marlo type of stature. The look anyway. I don't care about the background and how they made their money. Hopefully it was legal and all that thing. But you know how Marlo is very flashy and, 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 and she shows classy. Even so, sometimes when she acted a little assy. You see what I'm saying? But the look, the persona that she explodes out on social media and out in the streets. She just looked like she got money. Okay. But those ladies you had, girl. <sighs> Ooh, I was ashamed of you, Nene. I was ashamed of you. I'm like, girl, you started this whole segment of a sitcom way back when in 2008. That's how you look. That's how them ladies look when the first time you started on TV. When you were doing your own styling, you were doing your own makeup. And, you know, wherever you were renting, they said you were leasing a house or renting out somebody's house just for filming purposes. You know, so we don't really know where you came from neither other than athens but you know girl you just oh you disappointed me you just so much disappointed me girl Woo, okay but anyway that was just my drawback but you know i ain't like the part with cynthia you know you had all that flash and you was talking like you were about that life you were coming up having a backbone standing on your two feet ready to get them hand actions going but you know you weren't gonna touch you just gonna wave them around wave them in the air wave your hands in the air and rake them like women and shake it like you just don't care that's what i went on cynthia that's what I was waiting on. I was like, Cynthia has finally came alive. Yes, honey. But damn, you went out there and chased Nene. Chased Nene down. Like, damn, she was outside here. You could have looked out there. You could have looked. Look. Because she wasn't going nowhere because her purse was on the table and her keys was in her purse. You could have just looked and walked right on back and set your ass down. So we had you some more uh, chips and salsa and, and, and drunk yourself sleepy, uh, sleepy. Okay, that's what you could have done. Damn. You went out there. Oh, Nene. Oh, Nene. And Nene wasn't just, I didn't see not now tear flicker from her eye. And then if it was, she probably put some Vaseline drops up in there to have them roll down. But I didn't even see that. I'm like, damn, you took acting classes. Or I should say one or two acting classes. Girl, went to L.A. and tried to go with this season woman who called herself work with some greats in the entertainment field and get you some acting lessons going on then you didn't even oof girl you didn't have enough time on what that show called oh damn i, I keep wanting to say glee she had a little party in glee but i think uh it, something about normal not normal Shit, I can't never think of that show. But she ain't last too many. Uh, I don't even think I got past this first. The new normal was the show she's supposed to be starring on. But like I said, it didn't get picked up. It got canceled. And I'm like, Nene, that's pretty much real acting career. Non-existent. Same as with Candy. Y'all went to Broadway calling y'all going to do all this thing. This all the whoop the whoop woo And guess what? Came back flat chested, flat assed out. And then you had to come back to uh, Real Housewives of wise of Atlanta bravo and then people always think oh y'all got it going on y'all got it going on y'all got money y'all had did that well why you and canada ain't broke away from the real house wise of Atlanta? god damn y'all both been on him you've been on him what 12 years maybe 
12 years in Canada, 11. Y'all ain't made all the money y'all think y'all gonna make. I see Bobby gonna have to throw y'all asses out the door before you all will walk out that door. Y'all gonna ride it till the wheels fall off. And I don't blame you. If you gotta get your money, you gotta do what you gotta do. But damn, don't be floating saying you got this and you got that. Because most people, they don't make their time and they're like, forget this. I'm tired of, you know, acting a fool on, on this show to get paid. I got something else to do. Let me go, um, See what my businesses are doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or going into some other things. So I'm like, oh child, oh child, oh child. But anyway, just to play touch up with that, we're gonna get on into this man's article that he wrote up from um the employee he is is employed by, Celebrity Insider. Again, this was Nick Marcus bringing to the forefront. Uh and me bringing it on our channel for discussion. Again, his title was Cynthia Bailey shares how. She'd react if Nene Leakes exited Real Housewives of Atlanta after making peace. Okay, I'm like, where the peace at? Where no peace, man? She still ride for Kenya. Nene still mad at her for being with Kenya. The whole cigarettes party thing going on. And then I'm like, damn, can't Cynthia have some friends or some foes or faux friendies or what, whatever you want to call it? Because you have Wendy Williams. You have Marlo. You have Greg, but then um, Cynthia has uh, Mike for the uh, for the time being, anyway. So that's the only reason why Cynthia ain't uh, she making beef with you, or she trying to call herself having a backbone. It's because she has Mike in her life. If she didn't have Mike, girl, please, y'all wouldn't even have an argument. Because Cynthia just still be up there trying to film with you. You trying to film with Cynthia. And you trying to boss Cynthia. But let me get on into this article. Because we don't tear it a little bit too long. Okay. Get out of that, Eliza. Okay. Um, the article goes in to say, How would Cynthia Bailey feel if her Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Nene Leakes left the show? Well, it's clear that she would have been happy about it not too long ago. Now that they have buried the hatchet, fans are not so sure what her reactions would be anymore. Well, some of her people that watch the show for her, like me, myself, and I, I don't see why she would give a shit if Nene left or stayed there. Because right now they fighting, and well, fuss fighting, verbally fighting, and they both having a storyline on each other. I mean, my goodness. What would um Cynthia have if she didn't fight with Nene? Hell, what would Kenya have if she didn't fight with Nene? All right, and try to bring Nene down. Or, you know, with Cynthia. I mean, not Cynthia, but Kenya try to fuck with everybody. You know, she try to mess with everybody. Oh, but she ain't messed with yet. And we know it's coming. We all know it's coming. Even a blind man knows it's coming. All right. Is she going to mess with Candy? And we're going to see how Candy can navigate through those treacherous storms that's going to be hitting her behind later on. Okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it said, uh, The few ended just amid speculation that Nene is planning on exiting the show that made her famous following its 11th season. During an interview with Hollywood Life, Cynthia told the news outlet how she'd react if Nene really did leave now that they're on good terms again. I don't know what good terms they were, Cynthia. I mean, you just made a fool out yourself. You just went and did what you said you didn't want to do anymore, which was to be up Nene's behind and go and comfort her even even though she won't admit to not even a day that she was wrong. She liked to tell other people about their infractions and where they went wrong. And that made her go wrong. But she don't never want to implement herself in the scenario. And say, okay, yeah, I take the hit for this. I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have did that. No, Nene want to blame everybody else. And everybody's tired of it. We, we, we're tired of Nene. Okay, we are tired. Hell, I'm tired of my family. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, I need something else. Or Nene needs to really do need need to leave the show. I mean, give me something else than what you're giving me. It's tied through and delayed. Or is it delayed, tied, and through? I don't know. I'm going in circles. My mind is going in circles with Nene. Okay, she making me go out of my mind. But anyway... Going back to the article, it says, um, you know what? I think everybody on Real Housewives of Atlanta makes the show. But I have always given Nene props. See, going up Nene's ass again. 
when people think of our show, uh, a lot of them think of her. I am never going to take that away from her. I want Nene to do what is best for her. Well, of course so, Cynthia. You want to say and give her all those accolades and, and praises because she brought you on the show, boo. She brought you on the show. But there's a time when you stop paying for somebody doing something nice for you. It has to be an expiration date. I mean, damn. Do you have to uh, pay homage to her? You have to fall down at her feet for giving you this platform to be on girl i'm like i don't want to be on a platform no more because then you get on my nerve i mean hey yes she did suggest that i be on the show i went through an interview they liked it, me and we went on with that but damn when do you stop paying for the notoriety that nini put you on a platform that's showing you off I mean, it's like somebody suggests you for a job, you get a job, and they they continuously owe you for that particular leg up. I mean, damn. Okay, but anyway, moving back to the uh, article. Uh, it says, um, I want Nene to do what is best for her, whatever is going to make her happy. If staying makes her happy, she should stay. If walking away makes her happy, then she should w just walk away. Nene was my first friend on the show, the reality the reality TV star Dish. She went on to admit that during season 11, there are many ups and downs. But for the most part, there's a pretty fun season for me, which I left the uh, reunion thinking it was going to be the worst season of my life. Yes, I think that's when Mike started to creep up in your life and you didn't have to date all these fake men like Kim was running around there uh, trying to get these men to marry her and they was like no, 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 no. I just can't, 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 can't. Uh, no, 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 no. I just can't, 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 can't. Okay, but you found Mike through the help of, you know, another Illuminati type person. Um, What's his name? Steve Harvey. Okay. Ah, it's just a whole big circle of foolery, fuckery going on in Hollywood. And too many people are losing their minds and sanities and souls trying to have the rich and famous life. That ain't about too much or nothing when you have to live your life in a fishbowl. And then when the pipers pipe, you're going to either die from the situation or you're going to have to do a lot of strange things to keep on being in that circle of change. Okay, I'm just saying. But moving on from that, going back to the article. Um, it says, as fans remembered, Cynthia and Nene had a huge fallout during the season 10 reunion, all because of another one of Nene's enemies, Kenya Moore. Nene was furious that Cynthia invited the other woman to her party without letting her know she would be there beforehand. I'm like, damn, Nene, here we go again. If somebody is asking somebody else you don't like to come to the same event where it's going to be star-studded and all this type of thing, you don't want that person to be asked why can't everybody be in the same rooms haters lovers sometimes why we all can't coexist you know what i'm saying it's just one big party y'all have to film everybody gotta get their time in so they can get their money they check they moolah okay because i'm pretty sure if y'all wasn't getting paid and this was just a free tele uh televised show ain't none of y'all ain't wouldn't be nobody up there wouldn't nobody be up there just on camera time and not getting paid okay so then he cut the bullshit all right but anyway moving on it says um now Nene was furious that Cynthia invited the other woman. Yeah, okay. The housewives was convinced that Cynthia had done that on purpose just to start drama. Now that they have managed to make peace, however, and that is great to hear. Now I'm like, cha, ain't no peace. Ain't no peace in the valley with them two. Because Nene just wanted someone to take with. She thought about gullible Cynthia and this makeup whole thing. Like I said, a makeup campaign Nene is going through. Uh, it's just trying to get her solidified to be in more episodes because I'm beginning to think this whole thing with Lisa Bloom, this attorney at law that came on her team, it was just a scare tactic or it might have been something as a PR stunt to drum up more um, salacious uh, excitement to see on you know what's coming up for the next episode to bring Nene's uh, viewership back up and for people to be tuning in wanting to check to see what's going to be aired you know on the next episode and it could have been a tactic just to scare Bravo to, to try to say okay she's trying to play big ball on us but you know like I said Nene's playing a very dangerous game but she wants to be up there with the elite and I'm telling you, the elite is always going to win over a poor pauper like Nene. Because Nene is not coming from no type of legacy where it's brooded in 
rich money old money old dead president's money okay i'm talking about recycled money that just go through generation 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 generational type of funds you hear what i'm saying all right she ain't the right type okay but they sure would use her and abuse her and make her go insane before it's all over with or wash her up. Okay, yes they will. Yes they will. But that's all I had for this particular video, fam. Thank you for coming over. I didn't have anybody to shout out when I did the secondary video because I had cleared it on my first video. But y'all get down in them comments. Invite new family members, new guests to come over. And if they decide to stay, they like what we're giving them. Have them sign up have them come in constantly and, and 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 when i drop down a video for us to partake of you know i had to give it to y'all and y'all give it back to me i tell y'all what i think about it then i ask y'all to go review the video at your leisure of course and then tell me what y'all thought if i had a comment to display or y'all want to just interact you know that way however you see it get it got it good okay but yes continue to like our videos continue sharing our videos and definitely if you've been over here at the family affair eating partaking drinking relaxing lounging doing you know interacting in the kiki um chat session hell go on and subscribe so we can blow up together okay so we can blow up together okay we help each other we see each other okay that's what families do all right but i that's all i have for this video guys y'all be blessed y'all love on y'all selves and like i say um keep praying for one another because it's rough out there it's rough out in them streets and you don't need to be sac sacrificing your soul to do it okay just hold on hold on a change is coming Okay, but I'll see y'all next video. Loves and pieces, and I love y'all to the core. Believe that. Believe it, believe it, believe it. All right, and I'll see you next video. Good night.